So a pretty common question I get asked is, Louisa, how do you structure your day uh, when you're running your business, basically? And so that's what we're going to talk about today in this video. I'm gonna share with you really how I structure my time, uh, how I run at this point a multi-million dollar business and how I'm able to do it very efficiently and without any full-time employees aside from myself. Although caveating, I do have a lot of contractors. It's just, there's no need for anyone to be full-time. So we're gonna talk about a few different things that I wanna share with you today to get you, to give you some really important takeaways no matter where you are in your business right now. If your goal is to build a really profitable online coaching and or course business, because that's what I've got. I've got a multi-million dollar, uh, coaching and course business. I actually think about the two like two separate businesses, although it's technically under the same business branding and, 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 and setups. Okay. So a high level overview of, or actually let me first start with sharing a really important principle, uh, behind how I set my time and my goals. So I, love learning about productivity and self-development, but I have never been the person who wanted to be superhuman, as in being so superhuman, I could run, uh, do as many things as possible and be the person who, you know, has like this packed schedule and it's like, whoa, how do you get so much done? I never aspired to that. My philosophy is actually exactly the opposite try to do as little as possible. And, and, and I don't mean by being lazy, I mean to be as efficient as possible so that you're not stressed out, you're not having to uh, really do everything under the sun, you're not having to be superhuman, right? Because I don't know, I have only met a few people in my life who are like that, I know I myself am not. If I had to do that every single day, I'd probably hate my life. I don't know. No, I mean, it's just everyone has a different way of uh, living and doing what's best for them. And my way is a little bit different. So I don't try to be superhuman or super productive or wake up at four. Um, so let me preface with that because you're going to see how that that core philosophy for me drives how I run my business and how I set my schedule. So my overall goal in my business is not to have as many meetings as possible. In fact, I avoid meetings, I don't wanna say like the plague, but I avoid meetings as much as possible. And what I focus on is I always ask myself, is there an easier way, is there a better way, is there a faster way, right? And with that in mind, the way I break out each week is actually by day. So each day has a certain theme. And the reason for that is because it's really hard to switch from doing one thing to another to another, right? Because think about it. it. It takes you maybe 20 minutes to get really in the zone for doing something. Then you do it. Then it may be, if you're switching to something else, it takes you another uh, 20 minutes to really get settled. And so all that switching, the technical term is context switching, really is uh, a waste of time. It's, it's not as efficient as if you were doing, focusing on one main thing that you could go a little bit deeper with, be more efficient at and get better results with. And so with that principle in mind, each of my days has a theme. So Mondays for me are often thinking and creation days. I don't have meetings on Mondays and I, it's just about, Hey, is there a piece of, is there a new article I'm creating? Uh, do I need to be recording YouTube videos? Is there something that I really want to write or share? Monday is my day to do that. Also, I'm refreshed after the weekend, and so it's easier for me to sit down and be super focused. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my meeting days. And by meetings, I mean meetings occasionally with the people I work with. We do not have, well, for, for most of the contractors I work with, we do not have regularly set up meetings. And the reason is because, I mean, this could be a whole other video and maybe I'll do one on hiring, right? If for this type of business, emphasizing this type of business. There are different types of businesses where you want to hire different types of people. It's not about hiring people who need to, uh, to meet with you every week or every other week. It's about having set systems and metrics in place so that each person knows what they need to be doing and how to measure whether or not they're doing it well or not. And 
making that clear versus you managing it, right? Having the systems in place and the people to support the systems versus the people in place and the system supporting the people. Difference for this type of business specifically. So if there is a meeting I need to have with my team, I'll do that. And then I do have a, a few clients, a uh, group, small group of clients that I work with in my coaching programs. And so I will have coaching calls on Tuesdays and or Wednesdays. So that's, that's my focus. Now, any other uh, people I need to meet with, whether that's my accountant, my bookkeeper, whether it's a potential business partner I might want to do business with, uh, whether it's grabbing lunch or coffee with a new acquaintance, acquaintance, I schedule those most of the time on Tuesdays and Wednesdays as well. So those are my kind of like, you know, taking action, connecting with people, being uh, in that headspace kind of days. Those are the themes for Tuesdays and Wednesdays. For Thursdays, it's more of occasionally if I need to schedule another meeting, okay, those are my catch up meeting days if needed. Uh, but most of the time I don't do too much scheduling on Thursdays. What I do do is I will do some sort of activity or really focused, uh, again, content creation, right? So that could be if I, uh, did, let's say a really great article on Monday and Thursday, I need to record some YouTube videos or, whatever else is coming up. Now, here's the thing I want you to notice. I basically front load my week so that on Thursdays and Fridays, if something's coming up or I I'm taking a longer weekend or my husband is, um, he has a really crazy schedule. So he, if he has some free time later in the week, I can spend that time with him instead. So I'm really modifying it to really fit my lifestyle versus fitting my lifestyle around my business. Right? So Thursdays and then Fridays, those, it really depends. By Friday, I'm starting to think, oh, hey, the weekend's coming up. I still have that mentality that we have in the nine to five. I'm thinking the weekend's coming up and, you know, I'm maybe just working in the morning, uh, responding to some client emails, doing some, a quick newsletter maybe, and then um, maybe just wrapping up my, my to do's for the week and then I'm out. And so that's a really straightforward kind of themed day to day and how I structure my work week. Now, there are a few things I want you to notice aside from what we talked about earlier, where I'm not trying to do a ton, right? And in fact, I usually, I would say I wake up around eight, sometimes nine. Uh, I'm, I'm a night owl, so I'm not a morning person. And that is something I, I sometimes switch from time to time. Sometimes I'll for a while wake up earlier. And so, that is something I, a work in progress for me, but I'm not trying to start my day super early because I know I'm not going to be the most efficient. Um, and then I'm starting my day maybe an hour after I wake up, maybe a little bit longer, maybe two, uh, and basically getting into it. Also, I'm super disciplined. So this is what I mean. There's a lot of information out there about, Hey, having a business is about flexibility and freedom. Absolutely. However, there's a difference between flexibility and freedom to live your life the way you want and flexibility and freedom about not doing anything, which is inefficient and not what I'm about. And so what I want you to notice is most of the time I do have set work hours. So I maybe start working at 10, I'll maybe take lunch and then uh, maybe end around four or five. Now, there are some exceptions where maybe during the day I have to go run an errand or I just really don't feel like working. But in the evening, if I'm, I don't know, watching some TV or if I'm, uh, or my husband is working, then I will work during the evening so that I can spend the day with him. Right? So there is a difference in having that flexibility to set my work hours versus not working at all or just working whenever you feel like it. I don't, I mean, I do love what I do. So I do feel like working and I love creating this content like this video for you. Um, and so there is part of that, but really if it were up to working, like when you feel like it, I don't know what I'd be working. I don't know. I might just be watching TV all the time. Right? So there is a difference between the type of flexibility to run a business and using discipline to create that freedom and flexibility. So that is really important. Another thing, I mean, 
basically I'm using this to kind of answer a top question I get all the time, but also just share different ways of thinking and strategies for running your business with you as well as you've noticed. So hopefully you're enjoying this and finding this helpful. But another thing I want you to notice is that I've got set systems set up so that Yes, I'm available to my contractors if they need to hear from me, but I'm not a bottleneck. I'm not, I'm, if I'm taking some time off or if someone else is taking some time off, the business continues to run because that's a real business. Otherwise you just have a, a job. You're the boss maybe, but it's still a job. And so what I mean by that is we have set systems from uh, our marketing systems, right? Content creation, traffic uh, lead acquisition, traffic generation, uh, social media content creation. Um, I'm probably missing a few functions, but marketing systems set up where we know, hey, all right, for example, um, every maybe three or four weeks, I will set aside a day to batch create YouTube videos and share these awesome videos with you guys. Then um, there's a process where I hand it off to a contractor to do some basic editing and create thumbnails. Then I hand it off to someone else to uh, upload it and, and share it. So we've got set processes in place for how that trade-off happens. Um, same thing for my blog, right? We'll, um, I'll talk with my content creator about what exactly what I want to say. I will basically say out what I want to be in the blog. They will write it. I will review it. And so there's a set system for how often we do it, what the criteria are, the guidelines. And so I want you to notice it's, it's very systematized. It's not what do we feel like doing. It's not, there's never any scrambling for what are we going to do. It's very much, hey, these are the systems we have in place, marketing, sales, operations, customer support, finance, to make sure that the business continues to run smoothly and we're able to do what we enjoy and then live our lives without having to be overwhelmed or be scrambling all the time. And so when we do it that way, then basically, again, as I mentioned earlier, we are following the systems and there's a lot of freedom in that. Like I get to create and talk about whatever I want, right? It's just that I know exactly on my calendar when I'm gonna be sitting down recording these videos for you, when I'm gonna be writing newsletters, content, things like that. And so in that discipline, there is a lot of freedom as well. So that's one piece. The other piece, uh, another basically thing I wanna share with you is that there really is a lot of flow. There's a, it's not like, Hey, these are my set hours. If I work outside of that, I feel like I'm really, um, I feel really upset because my, my work life is eating into my personal life. I want you to notice like there's a lot of flexibility and like I share, sometimes maybe during the day, I'll take the day off to spend time with my husband. But then in the evening, if he's working, then I will do some work. The total hours that I work, is uh, very good, <laughs> let me put it that way. I, um, well, so again, it varies from week to week. If I'm creating a new course, for example, or I'm doing a big launch, I will work more. But in general, I'm working at this point, maybe 20 hours a week in my business. Now, I do want a caveat. This is the result of having spent the previous over five years, right? Especially in my first year, I worked nonstop in my business. Let me make that clear, nonstop. I don't even know, 80, 100 hour weeks, maybe more. I was a, like building my courses, creating, I did. And I mean, the second and third years were a, similar. I worked a lot and I used that time to create really great content, to uh, create really great courses, to really systematize my business because I knew this was the end goal. So I want to caveat that. It's not like this is, you know, year one or even year two or even year three or even year four, right? Um, this is something that is possible, but that took time to build up to. From day one, I started thinking about the systems I was going to set in place to be able to have this. So uh, just another side note, this is not something that happens by accident, right? This is something that happens as a result of really targeted planning from day one, which is what I teach also uh, to my students in my courses. So. And I talk about it in so many of my videos as well. So this is really important to, to think through for you as well. And so with all of that, I'm able to basically run my business the way I want to, where I've got courses, I've got coaching, I'm creating content that I love, and that's pretty much all I do. Right. I've got other people taking care of at this, again, at this point, after I did it first, set up the systems, hired the right people, 
I've got people taking care of op um, operations, customer support, tech, uh, sales, uh, copywriting, all of those uh, things that aren't my zone of genius. My zone of genius is I know my stuff, I know how to help you, uh, putting that into my content, my videos, my newsletters, my, my courses, things like that. And it's what I enjoy as well. So being able to do that while I have contractors who are able to support me in all of those other things that are their zones of genius and to be able to do it in a way where they know exactly what to do without having to be like, hey, Louisa, is this good? Is this not good? Should I be doing this? Should, the, should I not? So that is a little bit of insight into how I structure my day. And then months are different as well overall, right? Some months, maybe I'm working less. Like uh, during the holidays, I'm probably taking more time off to travel to be with my family or maybe there are certain months where uh, I'm going on a trip, right? I'll plan it around that. But that is really the main structure of my of how I schedule my my days and my weeks. And as I mentioned, basically packed a lot of good nuggets about business strategy and structuring and team and all of uh, a lot of really great things for you to take away from that uh, while sharing an interesting sneak peek uh, so that you get a lot of value and, and takeaways out of this no matter where you are in your business right now. So I hope you found that just really interesting and helpful. And if you did, I've got another really great video for you. And it's the video I, where I share um, basically a behind the scenes of my morning routine. Right, so that has changed and it continues to change as time goes by, I'm, I'm testing different things, but it'll give you some insight into how I set up the, the first hour or so of my day to prepare myself to, to run my business, right? And so I think you're gonna find that really interesting. That video is gonna be linked either somewhere on the screen and or in the description below. So make sure you check that out. And then I also have a really great PDF for you on the high level blueprint to follow to build a six figure profitable online coaching business, as well as the top three mistakes to avoid that I see all the time with uh, so many students and new entrepreneurs to make sure that you avoid them because so that you don't have to go through that. So make sure you check out that PDF. You can get the link and sign up for it against either somewhere on the screen and or in the description below. So that's it for today. Uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified every week when I release a new video like this, uh, sometimes behind the scenes and a lot of really tangible strategies and tactics and just always really valuable advice to help you build your own online business uh, every single week. So thanks so much for watching and for being here and I will talk to you next time.